I was able to do the arts and industry residency um, at Kohler in the fall of 2014. Um, this is the picture of the outside of the factory and that everyone gets a badge. It's a real working factory. I did apply a number of times before I was accepted and they, they do vet you to figure out if you'll be able to work in the factory environment, which is pretty loud and um, chaotic and sort of hot. I was there in the fall, so it wasn't bad. This is the inside of the factory. Um, this is how uh, the factory side looks on the right, and this is the artist space on the left. So you can see they're right embedded in the same space, basically. And the factory all has its own schedules. Um, you have to fire, you know, on their time frame and do the glazing when the spray booths aren't being used by the people that are using those to spray the toilets with glaze. These are my positives. Um, I made a lot of nature forms and I brought those together to create um, some larger installations. These are some of my larger molds. This is my largest mold. Um, they do have people to help you, like there's a, a tech that works in the space with you. They can give you advice. Um, there's an intern that can help you a little bit, but you really have to do the work. Um, you can hire, this is my largest mold, um, some of the mold makers after hours if you want to pay for them to help you. But I just did my own. I never want to make a mold like this again. <laughs> I didn't really take it with me. It was just kind of crazy and cumbersome. Um, but it is a really great experience. Like they use a system of keys and little pouring gates that is a little different. And they, you know, I just made my molds a little bit more um, complex than I normally do. They don't have a lot of clay at the factory. It's all casting slip. They do have some mold clay that you saw I was using. These are some of my cast pieces from my molds. And these are some of my smaller molds. You And they provide straps, but you do have to leave them there. You don't get to take them with you. Um, and then you need a lot of vending machine coffee to get through the experience. Um, you are required to be there from eight um, because they have tours that come through the factory until like I am there until like eight thirty nine o'clock at night. But that's my choice because I had you know once you're doing some mold making, you kind of got to follow through. This is um, part way through my residency. You can see those cones help the slip go into the molds and. Here you can see I have a whole bunch of stuff starting to be built up and some test pieces that are being glazed and um, I made a lot of small test pieces because I wanted to figure out my surfaces and you do use the same glazes that they use in the factory so it's all on an availability basis and you also use the spraying stations and those stations are far from your space. All the work gets put through these large dryers. This is my Tableau series. It's like one of my series that I made when I was there. I made two um, and everything is dried in the green state and then you spray the glaze on in the green state um, and then that green wear is put into the tunnel kiln and once fired basically. So everything's really geared towards that system like the slip and the glaze fit and the spraying um, and it really works well together but once you get into Firing things in a small electric kiln is more difficult. These are some of my heads at the glazing station. So, you know, I would have to wait until they had a break and go there. Um, and sometimes I'd hand carry a lot of my work so it wouldn't bounce around because it is greenware. This is my friend Elise. She's helping me at the residency. She came from nearby because I live pretty close to the factory, like an hour and a half. This is a tunnel kiln. Um, this is what it looks like when you put your pieces on there. That's one of Sun Ku Ye's giant tiles there in the background on the left. Um, and this is some of my stuff on here. It's really long. It's about, I don't know, 100 feet long, and it goes in a continuous conveyor. Um, this is my work being planned out for my install at the design center. You can use their work in the factory, like toilets and things like that, and you could decorate them and do things with them. I just use toilet tank lids. This is my final photograph, right? They have the professional photographer photograph your work at the design center. So this is my final photography session. Um, this is my work tapestry. And then the next slide is the work tableau. And I think I have a detail. Um, you know, for me, these are more like exploration of sort of riffing on a theme and um, getting into like mixing and matching these individual pieces. But those bottoms are really toilet tank lids. So um, I use some of the elements in the factory and kind of cut them up and repurpose them, but you can really do what you want with any of the pieces that they have that they don't want, which they end up throwing away. You also give some lectures um, around the area. If you, I don't really know if it's changed. This is my final packet palette. Um, as you can see, I had multiple palettes like this, and they ended up, you know, shuttling work home in my pickup truck.